We are back and better than ever. Actually, no, most of us are exhausted from our spring break. But guys, four more weeks of classes, final exams, and then boom, summer break. So what do you have planned for summer break? Some of us are gonna be working jobs, others are just gonna be chilling. I don't know who you are or how you afford college, but some people do that. And then some people are going on mission teams. So we brought one of the guys going on a summer mission team in today, Tim Buttram. And then we have some general shadows and shadonts about summer. So let's get right to it. Today we have Tim Buttram with us, who's going on a mission trip this summer. So, with summer on our minds, we figured we'd sit down with him and talk through what exactly goes into a mission trip and what they're planning on doing. How are you doing today, Tim? I am doing well. How good. are you? Good. Oh, man. Rip roaring. Oh, Just good. so glad to be back at school. I know oh, that's the yeah. feeling that everyone's feeling. So, first question. I don't know this yet. Where okay. are you going? I'm actually going to North Africa. Okay. So uh, I can't really specifically say what country I'm going to just because I'm it assuming is. that North Africa is not a country. Yes. My geography skills are, you are impeccable. So somewhere in North Africa. Yes. Is this like a security thing? You can't tell us where you're going or you yes. just don't. Oh, it, wow. It actually is because it is a Muslim country. Oh, wow. Actually, all the countries in North Africa are very Muslim dominated. Okay. So missionaries there have to be very careful about what they say and where they say they are so so I really maybe we can't. should end this interview now no, all right that's it no. folks okay fine <laughs> all right so you're going somewhere in north africa yes how long is the trip and what are you guys going to be doing it's actually eight weeks long okay so i'm basically looking at long-term um, tent maker missions. Mm -hmm. Is so, that what you're planning on doing? Well, that's that's part of the exploratory okay. process. Yeah. That's kind of the purpose for this mm -hmm. trip. The the trip is focused on figuring out how my skills. As I, I'm not a Bible major, you know, I'm not planning to go into the ministry yeah. per se. But how my skills in the secular world can mm -hmm. fit into missions and yeah. how I could use them overseas if that's God's will. That's super cool. So, so is it just you or is it a larger group going on the team? Or can we not are, ask that question Oh, either? you can ask that question. <laughs> there are about six of us actually. Okay. Uh, it's not a very large team. It's not associated with Bob Jones. Oh, okay. So it's not one but, of the Bob Jones mission trips. No, it's not. Okay. Talking to other people thinking of going on mission trips mm -hmm. and you growing up on the mission field, what is one thing that people who are heading out this summer for a mission trip should prepare for? Well, I would suggest that first of all, they seek God's will. Mm -hmm. I think part of the purpose of a missions trip is to figure out what life really is like in a country, mm -hmm. you know, that's not your own. Uh, so that's one reason I like the length of the trip that I'm going on. Yeah. It's eight weeks, sometimes one or two weeks. It's just, you know, a holiday sort of <laughs> definitely, with, definitely. with a few uh, helpful things. With a few in. work days. Yeah, which that can be great. <clears throat> But if you're actually considering pursuing missions mm -hmm. as your life, as something you feel God is calling you to do, then perhaps a longer trip, you know, enables you to get over that time of like the honeymoon phase, yeah. for example. Well, thanks so much for being here and telling us about your missions trip. Hopefully everything goes well and have a good summer, man. Thank you. Summer is coming and you guys need something to do with that extra time. So, we've got some general do's and don'ts of summer break. Do something. Get a job, go travel, go to camp, visit your friends. But don't waste your time. While binge watching I Love Lucy on Netflix and seeing how many marshmallows you can fit into your mouth may seem like a fun summer pastime, it's not worth it. Trust me, I know. Do. Go work a summer at camp. It'll be worth it. Don't Go to band camp. There was this one time I, never mind actually. Do, look forward to summer break. Don't 
think about the end of summer break because then that's more school and then eventually graduation and maybe grad school and then a job and a family and, and the next thing you know you're sitting on the front porch talking about the good old days of when we didn't have hoverboards. Life is short, okay? Just, just don't waste your summer. All right guys, thanks again for watching and welcome back to school. But remember, we've only got a couple weeks and then you're free. So keep your head up and let's power through.